Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition where I'm still being quiet as I will for a very long time. Actually while I am thinking about it. Stack your ammo! Was that me? Was that my voice? Um, anyway. Everything should be good. And now we can go. Let's carry on. With the murder mystery. Those were my best troops. Oh no. <laughs> Tell me what I need to know, and I will be gone from here. Where did you send her? You think I'd betray her? She would hurt me in ways you can't imagine. The name of the ship. Your life hangs on the answer, Lieutenant. You can kill me, but one of us will take you down, Justicar. I, I don't think that's how it works. Being a Justicar. <laughs> what was the name of the ship she left on? Go to hell! Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, scared and turned on. My name is Samara, a servant of the Justicar Code. My quarrel is with these Eclipse sisters, but I see three well-armed people before me. Are we friend or foe? That Merc was wounded and helpless. You just kill anyone who won't help you? If my cause is important enough, yes. Are you different? I mean, yeah. I don't kill people if they don't help me. If they're not gonna help me, I just walk over them. I've killed enemies, but always with good reason. I answer to a code that is clearly defined. If my actions are true to that code, I am just. If they are not, I am unjust. I don't pretend it is a simple matter or that it seems right to everyone. But I sleep well at night, and that is more than most can say. How may I be of service to you? I think her boobs keep changing size, by the way. Let's get the elephant out of the room. Uh, those boobs. <laughs> like, gee. It is so funny to me that, like, <laughs> whoever designed Samara was like, yo, we got, like, super biotic warrior monks, you know, dedicated to a code, and we're definitely going to give one a plunging neckline so that we can see her biotically enhanced boobs. <laughs> I don't know. It's just very, the, it's not very, it's not a very solemn outfit, I guess you could say. <laughs> But uh, the rest of her armor is pretty cool. Alas. Also, she's definitely using biotics to keep those there. I'm going up against suicidal odds and I need the best. That's you. I sense the truth in what you say and it humbles me. But I seek an incredibly dangerous fugitive. I cornered her here, but the Eclipse sisters smuggled her off world. I must find the name of the ship she left on before the trail goes cold. I wish you were willing to go with the human, Justicar. I've been ordered to take you into custody if you won't leave. You risk a great deal by following your orders, Detective. Fortunately, I will not have to resist. My code obligates me to cooperate with you for one day. After that, I must return to my investigation. I won't be able to release you that soon. You won't be able to stop me. I just, it's so dumb. Well, and I think this woman is being dumb, like the cop. Like, come on. Like, just say, oh, I couldn't take her into custody. You know what I mean? Like, whoopsie daisy. Uh, the human is lost here. And when you clarify- I love that line. I was trying to convince her to leave with you, but just a car is in their code. The detective has been ordered to detain me. I can't force her to disobey an order. And after a day, Samara breaks out and starts killing anyone in her way? I am afraid so. Hold on a second. There must be some way we can all get what we need. I see a way. While I am in custody, you find the name of that ship. Do that, and I will join you. Then the code will be satisfied. Can you tell me more about Justicars? We are individuals who have forsworn family, children, and worldly possessions aside from some weapons and armor. We travel a sorry space righting wrongs as defined by the ancient code we have each memorized. Ilium may be dominated by Asari, but it isn't in Asari space. My quarry fled to this place. I am sworn to hunt her down, and I will follow anywhere she goes. 
It is rare for a Justicar to leave Asari space, but I must follow my oath. If I suffer for it, I will accept that. She has no space in her body for internal organs. She's so skinny. But I really like her, her facial design. I remember in the art book, they purposely said that they, they wanted to give her a very distinct face from other Asari, and especially from Liara. Um, so that's why she has this, like, a broader face and, like, the higher cheekbones and stuff, and I really like it. I think it's cool. A moment ago, you refused to give up your investigation, but now you'll swear to follow me? If I stay, I will be compelled to kill many innocents to escape incarceration. Like me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I may be killed, and my quarry would be free to continue murdering. If I come with you and survive your mission, I can resume my investigation. To do that, I need the ship's name to track her to her next hiding place. It is a simple choice. A slim chance is better than no chance. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this Justicar code seems quite strict. It may seem so to you, but this is my Her own. eyes, too. The expedient path may be fast and simple. That does not make it the right path. I wrote, actually, I'm, I'm sure I said this a bazillion times, but I wrote a paper on Samara back in my, uh, in my college days. <laughs> Ali. Um, I, I had to say it like that, apparently. But yeah, no, I wrote a paper um, using her as an example. Uh, I would need to find it again. If I could remember what it was about. I think it was for, like, my Buddhism and existentialism class. But it was really fun to be able to use a video game character for, like, a philosophy class. Um, as you can see by the music that comes with her and her tone of voice and everything, except her outfit. She's supposed to be this very serene warrior goddess, <laughs> essentially. Do you have any leads? The Volus merchant Pitney Four is tied to this. Eclipse mercs are preparing to kill him. Get the truth out of him. He may know a way into the Eclipse base. Well, I've got to get back to my station. And I guess I've got to take you with me. Thank you, Shepard. Also, 100% her boobs are smaller right now than they were in the cutscene. The previous cutscene. They look like melons. Like, just attached to her chest. Like, there's no... There's no, like, swoop there to, like, indicate, like, musculature that, like, keeps them upright. It's just so weird. It's not... It's just weird. It's like taping two melons to somebody's chest. It's not an attractive look. They're just, it's kind of weird. It's weird looking. They don't look real. <laughs> they just... I don't know. Hey, look. Speak of the devil. Hello again, Earthclan. Did you speak to the detective? Mm. Why are the mercs after you? I know nothing about any mercenaries, Earthclan. I'm merely an innocent merchant trying to make his way in life. I could have done a renegade thing, but I didn't. The Eclipse are out for your blood. I need your help to break into their base. Shouldn't we work together? Yes. You're right, EarthClan. I'm desperate. I've got angry mercs after me, and now this Asari Justicar. That was easy. Let's talk. That was very easy. I smuggled a chemical onto Ilium that boosts biotic powers in combat. It also is toxic. <laughs> I may have, um, <laughs> forgotten to mention that to the Eclipse. So they are perturbed, perturbed and want to kill me. Perturbed. It sounds like you're a swindler and your actions finally caught up with you. True and true. But I haven't survived as a merchant this long without being able to tell when there's a deal in the making. You want something. Mm, I should have done the investigate first. I got distracted. The Eclipse recently smuggled someone off-world. I need the name of the ship she left on. I don't know about their people smuggling operations. They must keep records in their base. I do have a pass card they issued me to bring my goods in. Well, I, I had to return that one, but I happened to make a copy. Oh, how convenient. <laughs> Take it, but be careful. Each Eclipse sister commits a murder to earn her uniform. They are all dangerous. 
Dang it. I don't think we missed out on a ton, but... Cops don't admit it, but the Eclipse sisters run this area. Um, but yes, I always like to do the investigative options, and I missed it. Too eager. Look, she's just, she just be chilling. She just be chilling here. Find a way into the Eclipse hideout. Wasea, their leader, must have a record of the ship name. Please don't start trouble about my prisoner. Trust me, I'd release her right now if I could. It's a great honor to have a Justicar here, but I could do without the honor of having her kill me. I'd like to avoid killing you, Detective. Unfortunately, the moment my code dictates I must, I will. There is only the code. She says this kind of thing like she's talking about what to eat for dinner. <laughs> You're not gonna lock her up? Any attempt to put me in a passive restraint system will be regarded as a hostile action, and I will be forced to attack. Yeah, that. <laughs> In we go. Oh, could I talk to him again, maybe? You yeah. should be able to get into the Merc base now. It's the elevator back that way. See you right. Oh, how nice that they have an elevator straight to their uh, to their base of operations. How convenient. Right next to the cops. Dirty cops. A thousand cops. <laughs> Ha 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 ha! Oh dang it! This is that toxic stuff. Ow. They will boost our biotics, but it will be toxic. Uh huh. What is he doing up there? What is he doing right there? This shot. I'll tear you apart. Oh, there's more. I thought the I thought the push would do damage. Alas. Shotgun capabilities. Don't put your guns away, you fools. Once. 
I pretended to because the other Eclipse sisters were watching, but I didn't really shoot. That's an Eclipse uniform, isn't it? Turn and face the wall. Mm. I'm not one of them. I knew. I thought being Elnor the mercenary would be cool, but I didn't know what they were really like. You chose your side, Elnora, and you lost. Screw that, bitch! I happen to know... Dang. Well, hopefully it doesn't do too much damage, but I happen to know that she does, um... She's lying. We can use this! Well, we decided to go back and try to see how this one would play out. What do they do here that you don't like, Elnora? I thought we'd be flying around the galaxy shooting up bad guys and stuff, right? But no. They just sell red sand and illegal weapons tech. They even smuggled an Ardat Yakshi off-world. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is better. <laughs> I was like, I feel like... Because I thought the other way I would get the same information. I don't usually do the Renegade. So, uh, I wanted to go back because I was pretty sure there was stuff we were missing. What does Ardat Yakshi mean? It's an ancient Asari word for something that... I thought was just a superstition until now. It means demon of the night winds. I didn't think they were real, but the boss said this scary lady was one. What do they do here that you don't like, Elmira? Uh, I thought we'd be... But no, they just sell red sand and... What ship did they use for the smuggling? Wow, I have no idea. Wow. It was a few days ago, oh. and like I said, I'm new. They didn't tell me anything. Let's see. She might try to kill me. Get out of here, Elnora. If you so much as jaywalk, I will find you. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm going. Thank you. Ah, <sighs> that comes back to bite me in the butt. I know it does. This looks interesting. Cause like she pulls the gun out on you, and like you like we still like she realizes she's outnumbered, and it's like uh, we still think it's okay to let her walk away. But we did just get onto Samara for like you know killing somebody who was wounded and unarmed, but she wasn't wounded and she wasn't unarmed. So I know we do find something eventually that tells us. That she's not a good person. And I think we can get her taken down, but I think I think it's out of our hands at this point now. Make sure there's not okay. Yeah. Like we find some sort of file. That tells us. That tells us that I think she's the one who murdered the Volus. Oh. Dust clean kill. He's not dead. She's not dead yet. I love I love Thane's um, voice lines. When he's killing people. <laughs> I'm just... So I remembered that this uh, armor set comes with uh, some increases in in melee damage. <laughs> Holy god, I just beat that woman to death. Oh no! Come on! Oh no. 
I didn't think there was gonna be a gunship. I knew there was a gunship on Miranda's mission. Oh, I forgot there was a gunship on this one. I did not bring the ideal heavy weapon for this. weapon only has like a five meter radius. Here you go. Well, it's official. Little baby Elnora is finally a full-fledged Eclipse Merc. I earned my uniform last night when I killed that ridiculous bolus. A close exploding rounds. Blew the little bastard suit wide open. <laughs> I can't wait to see some real action. Next time I go home, my friends are gonna be so jealous. Dang it. Elnora was the killer. If we'd known, Detective Anaya would want to know about this. Yeah, we did. Well, I knew, but you know, Shepard didn't. Um. But yeah, like we said, because it, like, it's even what Saeed said, right? It's like, that's an Eclipse uniform, you know, stand against the wall, you know, you know you know, like a or whatever. Um, but they don't get that uniform until they kill somebody. So that in and of itself should have been, you know, a warning, but yeah, whatever. We're too nice. We're just, we're just too dang nice. Gunship above. As you could probably, you know, have figured out, I died on the gunship battle because I couldn't do freaking do anything to it. <laughs> so I am changing back to my trusty missile launcher and I will never use anything ever again with seeking projectiles. Yep. And it took freaking forever to get back here. I walked all the way back. I probably could have just reloaded a save. Honestly, it would have been faster. But uh, here I am, admiring all the textures. Um, oh, and real quick, uh, I did see a comment about this uh, yesterday um, or so, um, but I forgot to mention, because I did know this, uh, but the, the Asari we meet, who's like the medical one who doesn't like anybody but Asari, you know, she's kind of racist, I guess. Um, we, she talks about her daughters, right? And I forgot to mention, we actually did meet her daughters, which is, this is why I always, so her daughter, two daughters, right? One was an emissary or a consort greeter and the other one was um a like worked in the ms like in in the like like a freaking what's the word but she's like a secretary emissary type thing um not emissary i don't know what i'm trying to say anyway she worked at the front desk of the she worked at the front desk of like the diplomatic area where we walk out in mass effect one um which is why, like, you don't have to talk to that secretary woman. Like, it doesn't really do anything for you. But I always talk to her uh, because of her mother. Because I want to be able to say, ah, yes, this is the, you know. You, you have to meet, you don't have to talk to the consort either. But if you go talk to the consort, um, you meet the greeter. She's at the front door. Um, but I always make sure to talk to that secretary woman because... And it's a little more personal, you know? So, thank you for the reminder in the comment. I, uh, forgot to mention They've that. They've seen us.
Shipping manifest it shows that Pitney 4 sold 2,000 units of Minigen X3 to the Eclipse, along with 600 units of Red Sand. This isn't the information Samara needs, but it proves the Volus is a criminal. All right, Detective and I want to see this. I love that it keeps being um, Zaid who's saying Detective and I want to see this. I could I could tease him and be like, "Oh, you got a crush on her," and he'd be like, "Absolutely not." <laughs> we got to keep moving. He's a professional, is what he is. He knows we'll probably get some money out of it. <laughs> oh, good. Here we go. <laughs> One of the best parts of a game. things and they have <laughs> fear me lesser creatures for I am biotics made flesh you need help <laughs> you need help or you stand before the mightiest biotic ever <laughs> yes the Asari injecting so many drugs into me was terrifying but then I began to smell my greatness mm. But they don't know what I know in my head. But I know that I am amazingly Think. powerful. Fear me. Fear me. <laughs> Are you part of Pitney Force trade group? When I was mortal, I worked for Pitney. Poor soul is probably terrified that I have not returned. Yeah. He's so terrified he didn't even mention you were missing. He just wanted to get away. Mm -hmm. I get the distinct impression Pitney prefers money to friends. Bah! I will wreak a just revenge upon his people. But first, the leader of these mercenaries is in the next room. Mm -hmm. I shall toss Wasaya about like a rag doll. Shepard, you want me to kneecap this guy so he doesn't follow us around? <laughs> Say I tear her apart. Neek. My biotics are unstoppable. Neek. <laughs> oh my gosh, Saeed. That's a little excessive. He's a volus. Wasaya will tear you apart. Take a nap. You'll feel better. Are you mad? I'm unstoppable. Feasting on her biotic rich blood will be the last. <laughs> But, great wind, <laughs> biotic god, <laughs> I'm, I, great wind, what was I saying, I'm tired, <laughs> you may be right, yes, I'm tired, he needs medical help, oh man, destroy the universe later, he needs medical attention, Sleep well, you deluded jackass. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, baby, Zaid is so fun. I usually bring Thane and Samara, but I might, I might, I don't know, I might have to play with this squad. <laughs> anyway, that's the Biotic God. He's quite famous. Quite famous. <laughs> well beloved in the series um, but anyway I will have to call this one here because I have no idea how long it's gone there's been a few interruptions so uh, anyway thank you all so much for joining me I'm so glad we were all able to join me <laughs> meeting the biotic god we are blessed um, but yes I want to say really quick uh, thank you to my patrons uh, to all my patrons, but to especially my sapling tier patron, Reese Galido. Thank you so much for your support. And I want to say an extra special thank you to my tree tier patron, Christopher. Thank you so much for all your support and and 
and all the nice things you say. <laughs> so thank you guys so much, and I hope to see you in the next one.